YouTubers out there, this is Jerry Sadovia at the Movies. Recently on the 90th Academy Awards, they had an in memoriam segment, which they have every year, honoring uh, certain people in the industry who passed away. There are always some glaring omissions, but the one most glaring to me was Thomas Stanford, who was a film editor. He died at the age of 93 in uh, December of 2017. Now, the reason I say this is uh, there are two reasons. One, uh, Rita Moreno, who had appeared in West Side Story, amongst, of course, many other films, and made uh, an appearance at the 90th Academy Awards uh, to present an Oscar for costume design, I believe. And she was wearing the same costume she wore when she won Best Actress back in 1962 for West Side Story. So you would think that the film editor who worked on West Side Story and also won Best Film Editing for West Side Story would get a mention. Now, the reason I mentioned Thomas Stanford, and not many people are going to know who he is, is because I knew him. Uh, he died in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I used to live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. As a matter of fact, um, at the Community College of Santa Fe, he was working on the public access station for the now defunct KSFR 90.7 FM. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't even remember, I think he was presenting, well, it was a classical music station to some degree, so it was, I think, classical music uh, uh, selections that he would uh, present on the air. And I talked to him and he said, oh yes, and I worked on West Side Story, um, amongst other films. In fact, his uh, resume is rather interesting. He did uh, the Jeremiah Johnson with Robert Redford back in 1972. That was a Sidney Pollock film. Uh, the Yakuza, 1974. Uh, again, these are films he edited. The Legend of the Lone Ranger, the much maligned version back in 1981. Um, Hell in the Pacific, uh, In the Cool of the Day, The Truth About Spring, The Slender Thread, The Fox, uh, so on and so forth. It's uh, you know quite a few notable films, but the most notable, of course, is West Side Story, for which he won uh, the Best Film Editing Oscar. Um, he was also an uncredited uh, editor on The Onion Field, which starred James Woods. Um, he also worked on Split Decisions, which is a uh, Gene Hackman uh, picture about training a boxer. From what I remember what he told me, he told me about a couple of behind the scenes, you know, stories revolving around some of these films he uh, edited, he was fired because the uh, producer or the director didn't care for the work he was doing on the film. Uh, but anyway, he uh, deserved at least some sort of a passing mention. Um, anyway, I always uh, enjoyed his company. I'll tell you quickly about some of his uh, favorite films. I know he liked Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, Mel Brooks' uh, The Producers, um, several other films he disliked on-screen movie violence so he was not a fan and again we're talking back in 1995 so he was not a fan of natural born killers uh or goodfellas or uh taxi driver or really a lot of films that i of course loved um but uh, he was willing to listen he uh, he he listened to what you had to say to present your argument and then he would discuss it back and forth um I know that he thought that Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, which was re-released briefly back then uh, in theaters, he thought was a bit dated. Um, well, the clothing might be, but the movie still works. But anyway. Um, and the other thing he ta taught me, because he used to listen to my... Uh, I had a movie review show on KSFR, and he would listen to my movie reviews. Uh, it was obviously a radio program. And um, he taught me an important lesson he said remember the camera doesn't cut back and forth between scenes the editor does that job so that was really important advice so I'll miss him uh, I haven't of course spoken to him since 1995 but uh, I'll always uh, treasure our conversations uh, that we had and uh, you know he was just a, an interesting man he um, lived a long life so uh, he deserves some sort of a mention, and I uh, would hope the Academy Awards would at least mention him to some degree next year, but uh, oh well, there you go. 
since Spielberg is remaking West Side Story, he most definitely should be discussed, uh, his work especially, on that film, which is stunning. And there you have it. And uh, if you like what you're uh, watching, then please subscribe to Jerry Sadovia the Movies. The more subscribers I get, the more likely I'll do a show more often than not. Once again, I review movies, I review TV episodes or TV movies, or discuss also background information on films, TV productions, whatever. Uh, anything that I want to discuss. Of course, if there's anything you would like discussed that I could uh, find the time to do, uh, uh, any subject on films or television or thereof, I would be most, uh, I would be more glad to do so. So, there you have it. Sir Thomas Stanford. Check out West Side Story if you haven't. Uh, that's one hell of a film. Um, one hell of a musical, one of the best. And this is Jerry Sadovia at the Movies, signing off.